pag-edukasyon sa radyo. Dito sa Radyo Katipunan, 87.9 FM. Hello mga katipuneros. This is Father Ro Atilano SJ. Listen to our serving of stories that will inspire you and keep you going. Kaya, tara na! At nasapin ang masarap na tikla ng buhay. Welcome po kayo sa The Parable Cafe every Tuesdays at 3.30pm only here on Radyo Katipunan 87.9 oh, Mahala sa iyo Kaibigan ko Radyo Katipunan is now online! See our live feed on facebook.com slash Radyo Katipunan Check out our Instagram and our Twitter at Radyo Katipunan and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Radyo Katipunan FM for more exclusive content. The Jesuit Hour Get to know the Jesuits. Discover their spirituality, their history, their ministries. The Jesuit Hour Anything Jesuit, everything Jesuit. The Jesuit Hour. To open our eyes and ears that we may see the face of Christ and hear His voice in our midst. For 28 years, Jesuit Communications has been promoting the Catholic faith and serving the nation through both traditional and new media. Hear us tackle national issues in light of Christian values on Usapang Kapatid Pasakalye and Radio Veritas. Watch our uplifting reflections on Kapet Pandasa and The Word Exposed, as well as our acclaimed TV specials. Listen to the inspiring and soothing music of Jesuit Music Ministries' original artists as you read our spiritually enriching books. To learn more about JustCom's mission of evangelization and education, Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and our website, justcom.ph. To give a face to the faceless and a voice to the voiceless, that we may recognize Christ in them and hear His story in theirs. Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM Tara na't simula ng inyong umaga sa mga magagandang refleksyon tungkol sa ating buhay at pananampalataya. Kasama si na Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle, Father J. Boy Gonzalez at Father Nono Alfonso ng Kapisana ni Jesus, Father Cali Llamado ng Manila Cathedral at binibining Risa Singson Kaupeng ng Light of Jesus Community dito sa Kapit Pandasal sa Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM. Keep the Word of God strong in our lives. Keep the spirit of hope and the grace of healing Alive every day. Keep the faith. Join us every morning for the celebration of the Holy Eucharist with the Jesuits from the Philippine province. Keep the faith. Daily Mass for Hope and Healing streams from Monday to Sunday at 8 o'clock in the morning on Radyo Katipunan's Facebook page, YouTube channel, Twitter feed, and other social media partners. Radyo Katipunan, 87.9 FM Are you feeling sore? We can make that better. Tune in to the Ateneo Senior High School's first radio program, Soar, Soar. 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 Seniors On Air Radio. Don't change that channel yet because Soar is ready to put the you in you. Soar, Seniors On Air Here on Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM The Jesuit Hour Wait, what? No! Let's try that again Join the fun bunch of the Who Got Hour with Father J-Boy As we talk about anything and everything under the sun Share your everyday hugot moments and everyday hugot quotes. G, tara na! Usap tayo! Bring your own baon! Bring your own hugot! 
The Hugot Hour with Father J-Boy and Friends gathers every Monday at 6.30 to 8 in the evening. Only here on Radio Katipunan 87.9 FM. Radio Katipunan. News, insights, inspiration. Radio Katipunan. Down from the hill and down to the world. Radio Katipunan. The voice of the Blue Eagle. So hello everyone and good afternoon Coming to you on Radio Katipunan 87.9 FM via Zoom I'm Max and when it comes to what's happening I'll serve you the facts So please take this hour to sit back and relax Because this is New Wave So it's Radio Katipunan's anniversary week And because of this Every program has something special lined up for you Tune in every day and watch out for what's in store So, in line with this event, it's important to revisit the past and in order to further appreciate the present and the future, let's take a look. So, joining me today are my fellow anchors from Radio Katipunan who have been there longer than I have. And they hate this term, but I'll say it, they're the founding members, the day ones, and some some even day zero. We found it! (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, please welcome from Atenyan and Himig Ateneo, Sir Cholo Malilin and Sir Chris Castillo And from Mind Ed, B. Orenciana So hi everyone! Hello! 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 Hello. Hi, Doc. Hi, thank you for joining me this special <laughs> Welcome back actually <laughs> So... Yeah. Thank you for joining me this week. So, how are you all, especially with the return of face-to-face classes? We've all been going to <laughs> Ateneo again. So, we'll start with Sir Cholo. Thanks. Uh, wow. How are we? Uh, well, we've missed uh, Raju Katipunan. As you mentioned, <laughs> uh, we're heading for our fourth year uh, in uh, uh, existing as a uh, as a channel for yeah. the school to get, you know, to get its message across. Uh to share what you know, what 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 is the Ateneo like mm-hmm. uh, to the larger public. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, uh, things are quite busy now because uh, classes have just started in uh, the Loyola schools. Yes. We started two weeks ago, so we're we're actually welcoming not just one new batch but three because yes. of the pandemic. <laughs> uh, we are in a very unique situation that we are welcoming three batches: mm-hmm. the freshies, mm-hmm. the freshmen. The uh, sophomores and the juniors, uh, <laughs> first time stepping foot on Ateneo soil, and it's been quite a revelation, <laughs> I guess, uh, because well, actually, I, I like I like uh, the new crop of uh, 
Athenians, the college oh. students, because mm-hmm. they're they're quite chill. Uh, I think really? I can say. I mean, I, I've, I've been meeting them day to day because we've been mm-hmm. giving them their IDs and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So uh, they're taking things in stride, mm-hmm. uh, and um, you know, and they're they're quite cheerful, I guess. Excited. Uh, excited, of course, of yeah. course. Uh, particularly uh, the fact that uh, we had a batch of uh, students who were welcoming the first year students, and they yeah. themselves had not, don't even. Uh, you know, have a complete picture yeah. of what's in store because mm-hmm. some of them have, you know, not, uh, you know, uh, stepped in school themselves. And to welcome a new batch is quite, a, you know, uh, quite something unique. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm glad to see students back, uh, the life is back and in, in school. And uh, I guess, you know, what we're doing can become uh, much more relevant again. Parang mas, yeah. mas ano, mas natin natin that the cu- communities around us Things are happening, and there are things mm-hmm. that we need to tell people about. And uh, hopefully, we get more listeners in the in the in the year that is up, uh, and get people to know more about Radio Katipunan. Also, Ayan. yeah. And because... now that we're back on campus, we will all be closer in proximity. So it'll mm-hmm. really help if, like, you know, they listen to us as well. We can help each other right. out, like, right? Especially like in terms of introducing like the Ateneo culture and stuff. And then, like, you know, since you bring up the three batches who have not yet <laughs> gone to campus and are now setting foot for the first time. As someone who had experienced the campus for a year and a half and then now my technically second year, fifth in Ateneo, but second wow, year on wow. campus. It's like, wow, I feel like everything has changed because like, first of all, there there's no one older than me. There are no more upperclassmen, which was like super weird the first time I set foot on campus. I was like, Where's everybody? <laughs> like, where? what happened? And then on top of that, like, in terms of campus culture, which I found so interesting, before the pandemic started, there were these, like, areas that, like, friend groups and orgs just occupied already. Like, they're like, okay, we know that this org takes up this table and this friend group is usually here at this time and so on and so forth. But then now that everyone's back, some of these groups are gone, but then, like, they're all new people on campus it was like a complete restart a complete refresh and like I don't know that just added to the feeling of like oh my gosh like we're back on campus this is real we're here <laughs> all right so next Sir Chris yes hi um so first of all thank you thank you for having us uh we, we miss doing this no believe oh, it or not mm-hmm. we miss doing this whenever we see Justin si Papa Justin <laughs> Uh, he'd always tell us, sir, kailan ba kayo babalik? And yan, sabi namin, hopefully soon. And we've been saying that for, <laughs> for more than a year now. Mm-hmm. But we really do miss it now. We really do miss it. So thank you for, for this opportunity. Nice to see you be again. Right, thank like, you both for of coming. you are looking mm-hmm. gorgeous. No? You've thank both you. grown <laughs> over the two years. Um, But yeah, it, things have been, well, from surreal I guess, no? Uh, during the time when everyone, all mo- many media people such as ourselves mm-hmm. went online, no? You'd think the pandemic period was, or the work from home period was was a good time to do this. Unfortunately, for in our case, Kamini Cholo, you know, uh, so many other things just kept us mm-hmm. busier than we th- would have wanted to be. No? Ah, I see. Uh, but as we were... Believe us, as we were doing all the, th- the stuff uh, for the school, occasionally, isipin namin, sayang, pwede itong pag-usapan sa atin yan. No? Or, yeah. or we see this new student artist and in his social media account or in her IG or wherever. Or pwede sana siyang guest sa Himig Ateneo, mga ganun, no? So it's always still been in our minds and hearts. Mm-hmm, really. mm-hmm. Uh, but we're happy that you know, with a new crop of 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 RK, ano ba tawag sa atin? RK jocks, um, <laughs> uh, anchors, <laughs> anchors, di ba? Hosts. Um, it, it's it's so nice to see everyone there. New new people, uh, pioneers also have yeah. there. there. <laughs> no, so and of course that that the daily masses was of was course. something. Mm-hmm. Was something. So, but now the things are sort of getting back to how it was in some way. All right. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're 
it's also exciting but still quite surreal. Mm-hmm. Earlier mm-hmm. today, for the first time, I went to the cafe. Okay. <laughs> And I, alam mo yung feeling na parang nas, nasa gitna ka, if, if it were a movie, yung, yung scene na nasa gitna ka ng isang lugar where people were just walking around. Yes, yes. And you were feeling quite, what is happening? Yeah, And, yeah. Parang, uh, it was so packed, parang shouldn't should we be understand. distanced? <laughs> But mm-hmm. everyone seems happy. Yes, right? yes. Uh, so, Yeah, yeah. So it's it's surreal, but also exciting, and hopefully, hopefully, no, uh, no one gets sick, yes. right? Uh, and That's everyone gets worry. to adjust well, and also hopefully, you know, we, we get to be with you guys again on mm-hmm. on our day. But definitely, we are with you as listeners, your viewers. <laughs> you know? So kudos to everyone. Yeah, that's something we haven't gotten to go back to yet. Like being together in the studio and doing our shows yeah. there face to face but for both of you think of this as a, in k-pop terms think of this as your pre-release debut this is your pre-release single Ooh. and then when your comeback comes <laughs> there you go <laughs> full throttle so there you go B, the one who i see the most often <laughs> how have you been Hmm. Sagutin ko pa ba yan, Max? Sagin naman tayo magkausap. <laughs> no, but yeah, to answer to answer that question, actually, um, hindi, well, frankly, sa, sa program, program-wise, mm-hmm. hindi namin masyadong na-feel yung difference ni Patrick. Mm-hmm. Probably because of the logistics. Kasi yeah. um, Patrick just migrated. Diba? So he's now in, in Australia. So, We really have no choice but to to uh, continue the show mm-hmm. online uh, uh via Zoom. So, parang di siya masyadong um ano tawag dito in terms of like recording logistics and everything uh, doing the show. But I guess the challenge now for us is um how do we bring it back na uh, ano tawag dito na relevant siya so what's ah, happening now nice. on campus. Because mm-hmm. we, we still are catering, of course, to our audience. Of diba? course. So it's, it's still a campus radio. It's still a campus mm-hmm. program. So para yun yung challenge. Um, dati kasi, when, we, when the pandemic was just starting, um, the thing that we had to address was how to how do we adjust yeah. to yeah. The, the, ano ba, the, the online uh, world? Mm-hmm. And how do, we, how do we create that? Uh, kung baga, how do we... Um, adapt to that new um tawag dito the universe i guess new wave <laughs> the pandemic the, the wave um drop that program there <laughs> and so parang so yun eh, and then now and then it's, it's another transition eh. it's another um i guess for more changes adjustments also yeah so yeah we we try our best naman to be relevant but it, it's it's not easy because the time difference and everything of has to be in yeah karamihan record kadalasan recorded na rin since uh, mm-hmm. since nung nagmigrate siya ganyan so there's a uh, umbaga parang may struggle yung program <laughs> pero may struggle din like more what 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 issues to address ganyan mm-hmm. kaya nga i'm i'm excited also for this um yun nga katulad nga din na sinabi ng ano ng mga kasama natin ngayon this is new the, the fresh blood the new mm-hmm. people that we have now um and and looking forward also na parang to work with more people so that we yeah. can communicate mm-hmm. uh, amongst each other like oh, paano makakatulong yung mga programs sa isa't isa ganyan so i guess yeah. parang yeah. to to be able to alam mo yung as one station rather mm-hmm. as individual programs yes and so i guess that's why we're here <laughs> <laughs> so true, <laughs> bestie. <laughs> so, you know, it's more or less like that now. Since you bring up like relevance, especially in the changing times yeah. now that we're going back to like campus, we're going back to face to face. I have not yet thought of that. So now I will be left thinking about what to do with this show, how to move <laughs> forward after this segment. But anyway, before we talk about the future. I entered Radio Katipunan in its second year. I was with you when we celebrated. I think it was the first anniversary where we were back on campus. We had that lunch. That was really my first time. I hadn't even hosted a show then. That was my first time meeting everyone. My first time seeing the station. First everything. But as we said, all of you are founding members. The day ones and day zeros of Radio Katipunan. So... From here, please tell me about like how things began from 
your perspective. It doesn't need to be like a historical account, but rather like your place in the beginning, in the day one or the day zero. So same order. We'll start with Sir Cholo again. I hope your camera's working now and everything's okay. I hope so too. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yep. All right. Great. Clearly. Okay. So uh, how did it start for me was uh, Father Nono, uh, our patron saint <laughs> for uh, <laughs> yeah. is actually my batchmate. Uh, oh. So he knew me, uh, and he knew that I had some pre- I had done previous work for radio mm. uh, because I was a radio disc jockey or a radio personality for a good eight years uh, prior to my job in Ateneo. So he knew that I had background in in. Uh, in radio, and and they were setting something up. If I remember correctly, um, I think back then it was Father Jet uh, and uh, somebody who wanted to donate a radio transmitter to ah. to Ateneo. Uh, and I think CBN would have mm-hmm. you know, better memory as to this person. <laughs> Pero I remember meeting him briefly, and then they were telling us that they had this concept not to make a radio station inside mm-hmm. Ateneo. Similar to what the setup in UP was, di ba? Para may DZ oh, UP. Okay. Pero, they told us that they wanted to be, they wanted the, the radio to, to be a community radio. Yes. So, the, the way it was explained to us was that the transmitter could only broadcast to a certain radius uh, around uh, the Katipunan area. So, we did not even know that we'd reach as far as Marikina kasi uh, mm-hmm. parang when we tested it the first time, the transmitter, but then we could only get a signal. And this was all FM. Huh? There was no internet radio yet. So we were testing the transmitter to see how far it would broadcast on an FM mm-hmm. band. Uh, and then, so we did a few tests for that. And then, nagulat kami, umabot siya as far as Marikina. And umabot siya on a good day. Umabot siya as far as Tagaytay for some reason. That is uh, something else. Then, Okay, telling us now we can we can hear you. You did uh eighty seven point nine. All right. Because at that time, because now if you go to that frequency, if you go down there, mimo counting ano nemi. There there are some other uh radio signals that you can yes. hear. But at that time, it was, parang it was eighty eight point three was the pila kadulo on the left. Wow, napaka napaka mano mano, di ba? On the pila left part of the radio dial. <laughs> But now we are going 87.9, ganyan. So, we tested that and that that went well. And then they said, again, okay, let's do some test broadcasts. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I thought that, hey, wow, this is exciting. Because, you know, I, I'm used to a booth na completo si Ricardos, you know, with the, yeah. with the mic yeah. on uh, the other adjustable tripods. And then we'd have, like, monitors inside the radio booth na you could you could actually preview yourself. Yeah. You could hear the music and all of that. But when we set up the booth, John, uh, in um, inside uh, Jescom in the Sonolux building, mm-hmm. there was hardly <laughs> there was hardly anything na, <laughs> that that you know uh, that would make it major natural for me to as a you know as a mm-hmm. former radio person na mm-hmm. parang play music, diba? Para the basics of radio, diba? play music, talk over music. Uh, uh, have have a concept for a program and then do some talk radio. It was really very uh, how should I call it rustic. <laughs> very, uh, so the equipment was very basic, and we really had to. I mean, just the CD players. Eh, para, they were like regular CD decks, na mm-hmm. which were not even usable at certain times. We could not cue music. Eh? Important oh, is radio. You, wow. you have to cue the music. Eh, na para it's precise. Now, when you're talking over music. But then you can hear the music in your headphones, and mm-hmm. there wasn't any of that. So it was all like seat of your pants, and uh, uh, but then let's just see how how clear it sounds. So yeah, there was a lot of you know, and then we settled with parang a uh, uh, wala si Christian, if I if I remember, parang I was hosting Atinian uh, on my own, but and, and he made Ateneo mm-hmm. also with the concept to like sustain it, invite. Ateneo talents and all of that. Pero yun nga, it was hard to do content also at the start. Uh, oh, so yes. there, everything was really uh, talaga by the seat of our pants. Uh, let's just get things running. Let's see how it sounds like. Uh, so it was, I guess it was fun. 
para kaming ano noon at the start we didn't even know you know how are we going to get an audience for this kasi wala pang well, when we started out wala pang facebook so we did not even i mean meron ang facebook but we did not have the facebook like the way we use it now diba? ah yes yes we had, we had no idea how many people were listening <laughs> or how the signal sounded mm-hmm. on air parang ganun so yeah it was all of that so it, i guess it was a uh, really uh, slow start uh but we got through that first year with uh, some lis- listenership i guess we even had the idea na oh let's air it let's pipe in the radio katipunan sa cafeteria and all of that pero that didn't work out <laughs> so you yeah, know, in my freshman year i remember <laughs> that like i would hear one of Talaga? the shows in bell they would it was something for students. Yeah, okay. It was the Sangu show, if I'm not mistaken. And we would hear it in okay, Bell. That's okay. what they would put like for the 10-minute transitional period between classes. Right, so right. So yeah. like, that's what we wanted to do because it was all on FM. Mm-hmm. So it was a regular radio. So we had like e-jeeps diba, with the you yeah. know, transition radios kayo, so that we can hear what's happening on RK. But yun, uh, para after a time, and then we wala pa si, si Senor Justin no, and we had another <laughs> Mission, we didn't really quite know how to program things. So, parang, sige, kanya-kanyang kayod kami kada show, parang gano'n. Ayan. So, yun na muna, yun na muna. Pero, ayan. Uh, wow. That was, that was uh, my initial memories of it. It was fun, I guess. It was fun. Yeah. Because parang, yeah, we can really grow this. Parang, that was the, mm-hmm. when we met, when we had our first year anniversary party, <laughs> we had Father Jet and saying, uh, wow, this is exciting. It sounds good. And, uh, uh, we can get the community into this. So we were even toying with the idea of let's get the students in, let's merge it with Magis, and, you know, with Magis Radio. <laughs> yes, in yes. Kong, you know? uh, mm-hmm. So we wanted to talk to uh, you know, the, the, who was the chair then, so Ms. Maitel. Sabi namin, mm-hmm. oh, let's do something regular. Let's merge it with Magis para we have more content mm-hmm. and the students yeah. can become more engaged. So that's when the new show started cropping up. So mm-hmm. kayo yung mga shows niyo and Yung kay, uh, yung kay Cholo, Sadiare, and yeah. all that. So, I, that, that was fun. Uh, when all these new shows started popping up. Yeah. Yon, sorry, yeah. Dal No, it's fine. <laughs> We're here to learn. I learned a lot about the history of Radio Katipunan. <laughs> and it did sound fun. So, next, Sir Chris. Yeah. Um, I guess, well, of course, Father Nono was the one who... <laughs> who set out the open invitation no, to people... Mm. Who who worked in one way or another with with the with the team with the Jesscom team? I I, I worked with them on events that they would do in Ateneo. Uh, I host some stuff for them live, pa, niba, book launches, whatever. Uh, and then I guess it was a an invitation to people who just wanted to have fun and try something that was new to yeah. Ateneo in a sense. Mm-hmm. So. So, okay, we're, we have a community radio. What does that mean? Pwede ba kami mag-advertise? Pwede ba ng sponsors? <laughs> what is a community radio? How far can we reach? 15 kilometers. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not very far. But sige lang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, it's funny, binanggit ni Cholo yung CDs. Oh, pag, pag may show kami, may bound kami mga CD. Wow! <laughs> kanya, kanya kami yeah, dalawa. Diba? Old school. <laughs> Bas, sabarat, and we would play it from the CD. It wasn't wow. even cute digitally. Right, right. Like, a, like with some player yet, no? Um, so it, it was humble beginnings. Humble beginnings, mm-hmm. no? Wow. Uh, but like many things that start humbly but sincerely and uh, mm. it's graced kumbaga it's blessed and it nice. grows somehow no? that's nice and but really it was a passion thing of course in hindi biro kasi na from if you're coming from even from Ellis diba sometime within the day lalakad ka dapat 15 minutes before your time <laughs> time slot yes. diba you might be coming from a meeting or mm-hmm. after the show, you need to rush to another meeting and stuff like that. But you'd go. Yeah. Diba? You'd go. And then, kapansin mm-hmm. mo oras. Okay, I need to wrap this up. I need to wrap this up. Kasi may meeting pa ako. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya, yung, yung show namin ni na, Cholo, we also had si Rika uh, Balipata with us then. Um, while we put together the show, the three of us, be bil- billing billing ano bilang na bilang yung times na actually magkakasama mm. kami wow 
because we were doing basically so many yeah. other stuff mm-hmm. but we made it a point that at least one of us would be there mm-hmm. uh two would be nice three would be wow oy nabuo tayo parang ganun that's All something right. we're still looking forward to <laughs> the avengers assembling oh pero I, justice I, league Justice League. Justice League, got it. DC Bates kami ni Chris, eh. Yeah. Ah, okay. Noted. Noted. Dahil naka-explain ako, DC Bates. Pero yun, it, it was passion, really, I think, no? Um, And in that sense of fun, malok, I, I, I don't, I, I'd say yung first batch of, of RK anchors, may kanya-kanya kaming, ano, ito, pack of swords. <laughs> Pero, mm. eh, parang may, may kanya-kanyang kalokohan na dala. Mm-hmm. Diba? Mm-hmm. Uh, which made it fun. But those were, I guess, necessary informal foundations on which other things eventually were were, were, were built. No? And now, we're, we're almost professional without the fee. <laughs> <laughs> Professional, <laughs> professionally done, but not, not, not ano. Pero, you're doing this right now. You're usually yeah. busy with your thesis, but you're doing this. Why? Because you're passionate about it. Diba? Exactly. We B, all love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, B. And uh, ito, quick, quick kwento lang. Sobrang noon, para ang intimate pa ng group, the RK hosts become guests of the other RK hosts. Like today. <laughs> yeah, but noon, it's because... We needed to promote each other also. Oh, right. Yeah. So we're talking about a theme. Para mm-hmm. we're sort of quote unquote resource people. No on. Yeah, yeah. We needed to co-promote each other. And sometimes, just to be honest, ala wala ko mahatak. Hatakin nga natin <laughs> si Lester. <laughs> right, right. Oh, hatakin nga natin to. But it was still fun. Uh, of the, course. The fun and the love and the passion saw people through to where we are now. Yeah. So, there, there. Wow, that was a lot. But then, I guess, also for the benefit of our viewers, what exactly is a community radio station? Like, by definition? Anyone yeah, no, can ask? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, uh, the community, ra- uh, community radio literally serves the community. So, baga parang um if you compare it with like the mainstream radio and community oh. radio. So mainstream radio, kasi like the the purpose talaga, or sometimes or most of the time, the purpose is really to to um to entertain. Mm-hmm. And yan, to 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 inform like yung mga like fun to know facts things like that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but but ang practice of community radio, it's more public service. Uh, mm-hmm. ano yung kailangan okay. ng ng community and and the programs and the episodes the segments are all uh, tailor fit kumbaga it they're they're all um for the community uh dapat nakaka-relate yung community dapat nakaka-communicate yung community it's, it has to be relevant to that specific community kaya oh, parang yun okay. yung yun yung para yun yung parang difference yeah. it's more public service kanya like kung may entertainment yan kailangan puro like home based kanya <laughs> Puro ganun siya or something irrelevant to uh, the community or the culture yung, yung pinaka-practice doon. Ganyan. So, I guess that. That's okay. the difference. <laughs> it's a lot clearer to me now. But B, you were in Radio Katipunan before it was Radio Katipunan. So, tell yeah. us the story from your point of view. <laughs> Parang ano yun, na una yung, ano yung ring one, ring two, tapos ako yung ring zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> tapos ako yung, the prequel. The prequel <laughs> then. Well, it started, kasi ano, I was I was handling radio when I was mm-hmm. in Chesco before. So, we were producing um, of course, with with Father Dono, like several radio um, shows, radio programs in the the mainstream AM, naman to. So parang uh, parang I guess um, since ano ba? Wala ko choice. Trabaho ko yon. <laughs> so parang sige, mag research kayo about like ano, How can we how can we start like mm-hmm. a, a campus radio? Di pa nga community radio yung unay campus radio ah, talaga. Okay. And then eventually, sige, pwede na rin community radio. Pero um, the, the very, I guess, um, goal in mind then was 
um, Ateneo is a very, very big university. Very diverse. Tapos wala tayong campus radio, unlike other universities, di ba? So what we did, um, the creative director of Chescom, um, si Ms. Paul Saltarin, mm-hmm. Parang, uh, nag, ano kami, nag-university tour kami <laughs> to research. As in, um, t- t- yan, binisita namin lahat mm-hmm. ng mga university radios um, ar- around, near UP, uh, Benil, kung saan-saan kami nagpunta. Mm-hmm. Just okay. to see and just to check how they're set up. Para, kumbaga, parang baka we can mirror it or yeah. do something na parang similar to that. And then, paano nag-start. So, ang dami namin in-interview also, very, very casually, explore um studio visits here mm. and there. And then, kinumbine din namin yung, kumbaga, parang, basically, the gather na kami ng mga knowledge yeah. eh, dito eh. And then, kinumpare wow. namin ano, paano ang studio set up sa, um, well, yung session kasi na, na meron tayo with Chesscom before was mm-hmm. um the DJMM Tele Radio. Uh, and then the Radio Veritas. Ayan. So, ano yung setup nun? Ano yung setup dito? Kaya ba natin yan? <laughs> Tumawa na lang kami. <laughs> tapos, <laughs> tapos dun, and explore pa rin. Um, so, okay. Sige. So, one is to set it up. Yeah, and then the other course. is, how do we broadcast it? <laughs> so, in explore then before actually, yun yung sinasabi ni, ano, ni, ni Cholo kanina, it was Sordito Yabut. Yung ano yun, mm. yun yung mag-donate niya nung, nung franchise. Pero before that, kinan mo na parang, how do we broadcast it? Isip naman, PA system kaya. <laughs> kaya lang, hindi connected. Yeah. <laughs> sa school, sa high school, sa LS, sa, sa affiliates. Parang, how? At saka, um, what if we air it uh, during break time? Pero hindi mm. rin, kasi iba-iba yung break time ng ano ng ng mga uh, like different levels. Yes. So parang okay, so paano natin 'to gagawin? So we also consulted an expert. Um parang he's an expert sa community radio talaga. Syempre nawala yung ilaw ko. Minumulto <laughs> <laughs> na ata ako. Minumulto na ata tayo. Hindi kasi ano ba 'yun? <laughs> diba, ba ginagawa ko to? There <laughs> yung yung radio expert na 'yon. So, malangit daw. <laughs> Sorry, he passed away. Si, oh. ano, si Kaluwi Tabing. <laughs> Kaya na wala yung ilaw ko. Ayan. So, si Kaluwi <laughs> Tabing. <laughs> Sakto, di ba? On Q. The timing. On Q. <laughs> Why? Anyway. <laughs> Horror episode pala to. Anyway. Halloween. So, <laughs> si, si Kaluwi. Um, he's he's a, an, an expert din sa community mm-hmm. radio. As in, marami na siyang sinet up na community radio locally and even mm-hmm. abroad. Uh, I think yung pinaka-latest na ginawa niya nun or sinet up niya nun before we um we asked him to do an ocular around um the the, the campus was a community radio sa East Timor. As in, ano yun, para hindi <laughs> import na yung kanyang expertise. Oh my gosh! Okay. And then, he actually gave us a, a handbook, a manual. Oh, and at, na nandoon, a checklist talaga na para how to set up a community radio. As in, yung title. Perfect! <laughs> so, parang, yay! Okay, sige. So, paano natin to gagawin? And then, yun na nga. Si Shane nag-introduce na, nag-asabi na para, okay, um, imposible yung PA system. So, you really have to Um, get a franchise. So, thank God for for Sir Lito who <laughs> yabot niya na nag-donate nun. And then, sige, then from there, tsaka na, ano, na para, okay, habang inaayos yung technical ganyan, habang kinoconsult natin yan, habang sineset up yan, mm-hmm. the next, I think, is programming. So, yeah. ang dami naming pangarap nun sa programming. <laughs> <laughs> ang, or- ang original program lineup or traffic, of baga parang program traffic doon, magsustart ng 6 a.m. <laughs> wow! Okay! Diba? 6 a.m.? Grabe yung pangarap natin. 6 to 6 diba? <laughs> yung plano. 6 to 6 yung plano with oh. all the traffic wow. updates. As in, Perfect. parang, balak pa parang magstasyon tayo ng field reporter doon sa may gate 3. O ano bang traffic report datin ngayon? Ganyan. <laughs> <laughs> may mga ganun talaga like of course magsistart ka with 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 um your your usual kailangan religious program muna mauuna and then may pa ko siya pa mag magpo-flex ceremony ba tayo ganyan with <laughs> campus radio <laughs> para tayo magpo-flex ceremony sa radio <laughs> mga ganun and then it would it has to end with ano din parang something religious also so, so parang kailangan naka-sandwich talaga siya um, kasi we're 
lagi kami bumabalik sa ano eh, lagi bumabalik. Ano ba yung, like, the mission statement yeah. of, of um, hindi pa radyo katipunan yung tao doon eh, ang dami version. Oh, so what were these <laughs> other names? Kalimutan ko na, pero nakakatawa. Mas, <laughs> what were these working titles? Sorry, <laughs> naalala ko yung working titles na iba, they were in English eh. Hindi ko alam ko naalala. Uh, <laughs> they were in English. And then, nag-stick na nga tong radyo katipunan. Tapos, mm-hmm. um, and then, ayan, parang doon do, na nag-start, parang, sabi, nagkaroon ng meeting then before then yung present na nga siya sa board mm-hmm. present din siya sa different department heads uh, in the campus and then sabi nga na para masyado ata ano to mataas yung pangarap natin dito sa program ito <laughs> <laughs> kasi like paano tayo bubuo ng program si ba parang Uh, we we need to get really the support of the department heads of para pagkaroon ng mga programs na talagang um, galing talaga sa atin. Tayo talaga yung magpro-produce tayo yung tatao doon, ganyan. So, sige, paano natin ito gagawin? Tawa na lang muna ulit kami on the side. So, sige, talaga. Hindi <laughs> yun na nga. Di, parang, sige, let's, let's do, um, yun na nga, gabitin natin ang ating friends, personal relationships, M. Chola, M. Chris. <laughs> so, so many shout-outs on this fine evening. <laughs> so, ganoon, doon nag, nag-start na parang anong pwedeng pag-usapan nito, anong pwedeng pag-usapan niyan. Ganyan. So, definitely, um, suited org, sort of, yan and then mm. um so, din eh iba-iba na rin siya tapos um ako naman personal journey ko naman noon time kasi na yun nung nags start na nga na na siya na yung franchise and everything nagresign na kasi ako ng Sesco but still willing to help of course kasi kasi parang eh, parang I treated it as like my baby then eh, before ako umalis yeah, <laughs> inabandon ako yung baby ko. <laughs> you literally had a front row seat to everything <laughs> It really is your baby. So anyway, um, ang dami. So parang ganun siya. So parang sige, inihin natin yan. And then, um, parang una pang tinatanong sa akin ni Father Nono, gusto mo tech show? Ganyan. Kasi mas ganyan na yung linya ng ano ng, ng um, work mo ngayon, mm-hmm. mga nasa tech or digital. Yeah. So sabi ko, eh ayoko din kasi trabaho ko na yan. <laughs> <laughs> Pati ba naman dito sa Radio Katipunan, ganyan pa rin. <laughs> so parang sabi, sige, parang something more on the public service counseling kasi yun naman yung pinoproduce ko before the suggest ng usapang kapatid sa public service religious mm-hmm. inspirational human interest type of program mm-hmm. because sige baka pwede the counseling but then I I I'm not a licensed anything in terms of counseling mm-hmm. <laughs> sakto um, kauuwi lang ni Patrick um, from Australia <laughs> got his license practicing with Emmaus and then parang Hey, how are you? <laughs> Welcome home. Do you want to do a show with me? Ganyan. So, yun. Then, 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 nag-start yung, yung minded. So, that's why, okay, sige, let's, let's do a public service. So, I think kami yung first uh, public service program um, sa, sa, sa Radio Katipunan. So, we're yan. We're, we're still doing it. And then, um, sorry, tech-wise, I just want to echo again what Cholo said kanina. Sobrang hinanap ko rin kasi, um, kasi nung nabak- nakabalik na ulit ako, okay, yeah. sige, set up na. Mm-hmm. Hinanap ko talaga yung, ano, hinanap ko talaga yung mga, okay, paano ako magsisegway ng music? Eh, isa lang yung player. <laughs> isa lang yung, music, yung, yung sound source. <laughs> yung audio source. It's always wow. going back to this. <laughs> Yes. Tapos ang daming layout na in-explore dun sa studio, iba-ibang lamesa. <laughs> yung una, round table, naging squares, naging rectangle. Sabi ko, ang dami. And then yung position. Naging L-shape. May L. Naging L-shape. <laughs> Wait, in the, in, in the studio, like the small one beside no. the SFX? Oh my yes. goodness. Okay, I can diba? imagine. Imaginein mo ang dami ba, mga sukas sa lamesa. Sige, paano to ganyan? Para nagkaroon ng time na o oh, sige, I want kasi ako I I, I mean yung 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 um radio coordinator during that time. Parang si David kasi niya para sige, ako na lang I'd rather um manage the board kasi doon ako sanay. Mm. Ganyan. Kaya lang yung layout niya, yun yung L ata. Eh. So yung yung kanya may microphone, yung ganyan. So, yung board nandito sa left side. So, para ang hirap niya. So, may na nakaganyan ako. Ano ko gagawin? Yes! Parang ang hit pop-up. Ang ganyan. Iba yung monitor. Iba yung monitors. Para dun sa iba yung... Iba yung... Ano tawag ito? Meron... Naalala ko may dalawang... Um, ano tayo itong Bluetooth keyboards yung time na yun. Yeah. One is for the video yeah. controls, one is for the audio, and then meron oh ka pang, ano, meron ka pang 
Comic-Con. So, tiba yes, sige, kaya natin ito mali-mali-mali yung ginagawa. Iba-ibang mouse din. <laughs> so, <laughs> very start up, very ano talaga siya. As in, pero yun niya, eh, parang, it was really fun kasi ang dami rin natutunan um, how to wing it, ganyan, how to, how so to true. really, <laughs> like, parang atagal ng isang oras, guys. Kaya pa ba natin? Yeah. 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 That so, opened the yeah. floodgate of memory. Like, one of the last shows I had back on campus at the board with all of the controls, right? It was like, yep. right beside you, to your right. To your right. So, yes. there's no need yes, to crisscross. Yes. But, like, me and my co-host at the time, we didn't know how to use it. So, there was this one time where we would take, we used to take a break, like, in the middle of the hour. Like, after 25 minutes, we'll take a 5-minute break and then do the 30 minutes. We wouldn't sure. know how to just pause the episode, like, how to just yeah. play those commercial-like things. So, yeah. we'd, end up, we'd end up ending the broadcast. And then Sir Justin would be like, why is it over? And then it would just start again midway. So, we'd always be like, Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Hindi, tsaka totoo yung, ano, totoo yung hirama ng host, hirama ng program. Yeah. Kasi during that time also, nung nasa campus pa tayo, our time slot was not Thursday. It was Friday. Oh, at, at 2 okay. p.m. Mm-hmm. Friday, 2 p.m. kami. Kasi nun namin si Level Up na 3, 2, 5, I 6. See. Ganyan. Yeah. Yeah. So, pag, pag na-corner na ako doon ni Sir Noel, dyan ka na lang, samahan mo ako. Alam, <laughs> limang, limang oras na po ako nasa air. <laughs> Maraming mga ganong kidnap. Oh, nandito ka, sige, hatakin niya. Sige, sama ka. So, parang, yun na nga, it was, it was so small, very intimate siya. So, yeah. so much fun. Kaya parang, na-explore din namin yung programs ng isa't isa. Tapos ngayon, ito na nga, we transition already to Zoom. So, parang mas nakakaroon, I guess, ng opportunities also. Nagiging mas diverse yung mga usapan, topics. That's true. The people. So, let's see, na medyo, medyo hybrid. <laughs> Tama ba? Yeah. <laughs> Air quotes, get out. <laughs> Let's see, we're still growing. Now, since, Let's see. <laughs> since everyone was able to talk about their start, since all of you were there very, very early, I actually never got to talk about how I started. And this is a funny story because it started with me needing org retention points and signing up for PR and marketing of the radio show <laughs> that the org was mm. presenting. And then the chosen host at the time was someone I had known from grade school. So we were both on our way to the meeting, but he didn't know I was on the way to that same like formation meeting. And we were just talking, like catching up. We hadn't seen each other since grade school. And then big like when we got to the table where the producer was, shout out to Dom. Hello, this is all your fault. <laughs> when we got to that table, he was like, like the host at the time was like, why are you following me? You're part of the meeting too. And I was just like, no, I'm not. Like I just said that. And Dom found it so funny that he was like, do you want to host as well? But like, just as a backup, like just on days, the main host can't be there or in times where there's no guest, you just back him up. So I was just like, okay, sure, I can do that. And then the next school year began, that host couldn't commit anymore. So Dom told me, okay, it's you. You're the only host, main host. Let's go, let's start. And I didn't have a manual on how to be a radio host. I had to find another co-host. It all happened so fast. And it was a very learn-as-I-go thing. And I remember my very first day in the studio where we were told we were just going to do like a trial episode, 5 to 15 minutes, nothing big. Just prepare a little something to talk about. And me and my co-host show up. We sit down. We have our notes. And all of a sudden, Sir Justin says, Okay, rolling. It's on Facebook. And we were like, wait a minute. (laughs) No one said anything about this being live. And that was like my first day ever. My first time ever. And I was just like, oh my gosh. But all of that prepared, like all that really prepared me for how life was going to be. Especially when we moved to the Zoom setup. So there, funny story. Funny history (laughs) lesson. What What was your first show, Max? What was it called? It was called Clapback. It was for the Loyola yeah, Film Circle. Right. right. Yeah. Cool, so cool. it was this same time slot. I've been on the Wednesday 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. since I began. <laughs> so anyway, we talked about being like a diverse group of people. The Ateneo campus itself is also a very colorful campus. Now, 
RK has an apostolate, and we've been mentioning that since the beginning. So for your respective shows, how do you further this apostolate, even if your show isn't necessarily religious? So this time we'll go backwards. Be first. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Ayan na nga, eh. Live kasi siya. Anyway. Well, ano ko, sa amin kasi it's very, ano eh, um, uh, ano tawag dito, uh, hindi siya specific talaga sa campus, sa like mental health. Mm-hmm. Diba? So parang, I guess, well, Patrick kasi is a licensed psychotherapist. So talaga siya napapractice talaga niya yan. Yes, of course. Inside the campus and outside the campus. And yan. So parang, I, I guess, ano po, um, hindi ko na alam paano sagutin yung tanong masustola. Hindi, <laughs> pero kasi, it, ganun lang siya eh. Parang, um, it, it's, it's just really a, a mental health um, mm-hmm. awareness program. Sorry. Um, and then what we did then, alala ko, was just not to tap organizations within the campus. Mm, okay. um, we also got a lot of um, orgs outside rin na pwedeng makatulong na kasi syempre di ba parang the, when when we say na parang okay why are we doing this mental health awareness program mm-hmm. to give space mm-hmm. to yes. talk about this kasi um it's it's sort of a not really sort of uh, it's something a taboo mm-hmm. to talk about mental health that's true right so para okay let's give space for that one and um i guess part of like caring for the students caring for for our um friends at the campus those mm-hmm. who have like um issues with their mental health hindi naman siya paglabas nila ng university, okay na, wala na sila yes. mental health problem. <laughs> Nakaalis na, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, mas holistic approach, I guess, mm-hmm. na parang, what if you're not in the campus? What if you're outside? Or what if you graduated already? Or what if you're not a student, but you're a listener of the program? Diba? So, parang, saan ka pwedeng lumapit? Sino pwedeng lapitan mo? Ganyan. And, and then, after that, oh, sige, so one would be, like, guests outside, Mm-hmm. na pwedeng, pwedeng maging relevant din sa atin. And then, um, I guess we also did mga episodes on like the first aids. Uh, ah, mental health okay. first aids. Oh, okay. Mga tipong ganyan. So we, we had those also eh. Ganyan. And then, yun nga, yeah, make it more, ano ba, uh, not so intimidating. Mas fr- a, a friendlier take. Yeah. yeah. On, on your mental health. Like, kunyari, expressive art. Yeah. So, isa yun sa mga favorite ko eh. Like, any, any, parang, um, like, okay, therapy is such a big word. Dapat si Patrick yun dito eh. Pero, <laughs> <laughs> therapy is, could be an in, 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 intimidating uh, mm-hmm. word for some. Pero when you say, like, it's a therapy using expressive arts, we had guests from, yun na nga eh, those who practice expressive arts therapy. Siyempre, ako yung guinea nila. <laughs> Kasi ako lang yung hindi professional yeah. sa, sa episode. <laughs> so like, yes, let's air out our issues <laughs> on air. Ganyan. So, <laughs> literally ganun, air it out. <laughs> air it out. Exactly. Yeah. Ganyan. And it's, it's not, kumbaga parang, it, it, it gives that kind of a friendly space kasi na something that can be approached in a very practical manner in a very relatable manner so yes that's that's in a way that's um how we did it I guess now it's yeah. not uh the the approach in the the mindset now is really okay campus radio campus mm-hmm. program but again let's do a community perspective yeah. from a community's perspective naman and the program doesn't necessarily have to um what they call this be relevant lang sa community but i guess like all people like yeah. yeah yeah and it's a show that really helps people like mind ed mental health especially during the pandemic you guys had a lot of good episodes that were really helpful for listeners Hearts. yeah we try we try <laughs> we try keep going <laughs> all right so next up Sir Chris, so since you and Sir Chola are partners in two shows, you can dibs which show you want to talk about. Yeah. Na siguro, <laughs> if, if it's okay with, with Cholo, I'll talk about atin yan, and he can talk about uh, Himig Ateneo. No? But of course, sure, sure. We'll, right. we'll mix it up a bit. Uh, una, uh, both of us are in student affairs. No? Yes, uh, yes. As our area of work. No? So, What's what student affairs? It's a mix of formation, mm-hmm. it's a mix of services, and all of that. So, how do we bring that to the radio? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kaya yung pangalan, Atinian, is a play on Atinian. 
Oh! 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 Big oh! brain! Wow! Oh! <laughs> the emotion <Kasi> parang, <laughs> We were thinking, you know, the, the thesis was simple. Eh. Um, we want to tell the community where community means both mm-hmm. the internal community and the extended community. All right. What Ateneo is doing. Right? Parang, while we were both, while we are both from the Loyola schools, mm-hmm. parang we made it a point to bring in the other uh, other units, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Even those who are not in Loyola. Kasi sila yung mas yeah. may, noon nga eh, we weren't doing Zoom eh. Wala pang ganito. Yeah. So, we physically had to bring in people sometimes, which was a hassle if you're from the law school. Kasi, Rockwell pa bang gagalingan mo? Yeah. Mas matagal pa yung biyahe mo kaysa dun sa airtime. <laughs> di ba? But the, 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 the idea was really that, no? How do we introduce, tell the community about the good things happening in the community and how do we tell the extended community about mm-hmm. these things? Not right. just for the sake of promotion, but actually to tell them, hey, these are services available. Hey, these are ongoing things, events, activities, yeah. or whatever, right? And to give people some sort of a, a behind the scenes, because we'll talk to the organizer, we'll talk to this administrator, to this faculty. So, nakakaroon ng ibang perspective mm-hmm. about what you would see as a spectator or attendee. You know? So, one of our, and I, I, I'm sure Sir Cholo would agree with this, one of our favorite times for atin yan is when we interview personalities in school ah, and get to see, see. ah, yun pala yung love life niya or ah, right, yun, pala right. yung, yun pala yung yun yung pala yung kwento niya bakit siya nag- episodes nung in-interview natin si Ma'am Marlu Vilches Ma'am Marlu, <laughs> shout out to Ma'am Marlu <laughs> Vilches That's Hello, cute! Ma'am Marlu. Yeah. And we are so about we love life. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> so we we were also trying to tell to let people see a different face of Ateneo, no? Right. Mm, uh, yeah. And then we we even tried also to bring our partners from outside. For example, Barangay Loyola, na the, yes. uh, the personnel of Barangay Loyola, mm. uh, parents, associations, or what no? Para magkaroon nga ng opportunity, no? So, Atinian was more about activities, events, and services. Yes. Right? And to do that, you know, we needed to be Atinian at Atin. Pero Atin don was not did not mean uh, us. It, uh, it, it, it didn't mean na kami kundi mm-hmm. tayo. Nice. Diba? Tayong lahat hindi kami Atinista kundi yeah. tayong lahat. So, yun. And the other show, and Himig Ateneo, and between the two of us, Sir Chol is obviously the singer. So, yeah. <laughs> no. Let's go. You see the guitar behind him. He's ready. <laughs> uh, Himig Ateneo was really an effort for us to showcase the talent mm-hmm. uh, that was not just within the community, but of, of known Ateneo uh, alumni mm-hmm. who, uh, diba, who really uh, put out the, the Ateneo brand of music, I guess. So, the, the, as the as the plug that was conceptualized, I <laughs> first uh, told us that parang, there are so many talents that are uh, very much around, but we don't know that uh, a lot of it, the, the seedbed of their talent was really their experience as Atenean. So, si Basil Valdez, Jose Marichan, mm-hmm. uh, Ano pa ba? Parokya ni Edgar, uh, who, my, who were my students, by the way, in high wow. school. Uh, so, uh, yun, to, to showcase that talent and that, that brand of Ateneo music mm-hmm. nga, na, na it's smart, uh, it's uh, inventive, creative. So, uh, the very, very first episode of uh, Himig Ateneo featured Mr. Toto Sorioso, who is known to us, uh, Jesscom, because yes. he's not only one of our more dependable Dependable uh, music, uh, sound engineers, so, uh, what do you call this, uh, uh, Jesscom, but he's also a very much renowned singer and composer. Yep. Uh, award-winning yes. yan, di ba, si Toto Serioso. So that was, see, episodes with Toto, and he's guested on 
on this show several times because uh, he's also our go-to guy pag wala kaming mag-guest. <laughs> and uh, at, the, at, the, at the onset, parang okay lang. We were getting a steady stream of uh, of guests for Kimi Gatineo. But, and then, we eventually, there were times na hindi makakarating yung guests namin. So we would just play play off the, the catalog of uh, Jesuit Music Ministry, mm-hmm. which was also a lot of uh, great content until suddenly parang teka lang parang dumadami na yung mga episodes na we just feature <laughs> para yun nga uh, yeah. Well, yeah. rather than rather than having guests on the show kasi that that the Hibigatine was really conceptualized to be uh, uh, para a, a live uh, show di ba so some of my favorite episodes were from uh, our 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 students of course uh uh, both in college, the blue blue repertory would come on several times. Mm. Lang Seaball mm. would come in several times. Uh, the Glee Club. I don't know. Did you ever do the Glee oh, no. Club, Chris? I ACT. We had them on. Ah, okay, oh, right, right. Oh. ACT. And then the the Jesuits. I mean, the the novices. Brothers. The, oh, no. the brothers from, from uh, San Jose uh, would guest. So, yeah, yun yung mga favorite kong shows. Pero we'd also get some, some, some alumni. Uh, Yon, uh, so fun. Ano ba yung mga uh, yeah. naalala mo mga? We we did get some some celebrities <laughs> every mm-hmm. now and then. Uh, pero yon, uh, yung mga ah. nakaklag natin, never natin na, na <laughs> never got around to coming and guesting on the show, no? Yung, yon. So, isingit ko lang dyan, Max, no? Yes, yes. yes. Ang isang problema namin noon ni Cholo, and I'm sure si Nabi would, would attest to this, we couldn't play uh what do you call this commercial music even oh, if yeah. artista yeah. Yeah. yung yes. yung performer mm-hmm. kasi mm-hmm. mapa-flag uh-huh. yes. magbu-mute siya yeah uh-huh. diba you know you know facebook how strict mm-hmm. they are diba parang yes. yes so it was a limitation you want to feature this pero no mga time na yun hindi pa namin alam yung flagging until it happened <laughs> Parang, but wala sa but wala sound. Ano problema? Na mute na siya bigla. Ayun pala na flag na pala kami. Na flag mo siya na Facebook. <laughs> so, we had to be more we had to look for other resources. So, naging yeah. original music dapat. Yeah. Which is a smaller yeah. niche if you think about it. Yeah. Ah, no? uh, but we really thank all the ho- the guests we had because they'd come in with right. their gear, magsi-setup pa sila oh. ng effects, piano, uh, keyboards, guitar and all, no? Just for 40 minutes of yeah. fun. Sa maliit na studio na yun. Sa maliit na studio. I yeah, have yeah. a full band set up in the little studio. There was a time. Meron. Wow. Oh, Mapagkakasya mo. There, if there's a will, there's a way. Oh, we have, Or yung book choir. Ginas natin ng ano. Yeah, ginas natin ng bukas pala. At least a few wow. of them. Wow. Oh, yeah. uh, sino pa ba? We had a few band. Book choir band. nandun sa studio. Yep. Oh my right, God. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Someone should put in yeah. a picture of the Uh-oh. studio so that people know Before. what we're talking about and how Uh-oh. shocked we are at the amount of people that can fit in the, the set of- studio. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sa amin hindi hindi ganon ka crazy yung set yung yung mga na bringin namin. Siguro ang pinaka at dalawa lang ako yung pinaka maano yung pinaka memorable sa akin na tal. Pero yeah. challenge yung malit the studio. One was um, when we had um Sabrina Artadi. Uh, when we talked about food and wow. mental health. So, like, a cooking show siya. <laughs> okay, <laughs> para natin si set up yung mag- may mga blender <laughs> siya. Mag- ano, ano. Oh my God, para, para tayo magkakasya. Sige, tumayo na lang tayo. At <laughs> <Tayo> choice. <laughs> And then the other oh one was we we had um an animal assisted therapy episode with Aww. Blue Father Nono's dog who's Aww. also... um. <laughs> Uh, an animal ano ba uh, mm-hmm. animal assisting therapy sa, yes, yes. sa ano sa sa guidance office LG soft, yeah. yeah so ang dami namin mga nilatag na mga ano mo yon mga diary at lahat-lahat just in oh, case yeah. <laughs> labing lang ma-excite si Blue tas inalis namin lahat ng ng tables para makita siya kasi nasa baba siya eh. like hindi mo siya pwedeng ilagay sa upuan oh. or sa table <laughs> So, kailangan nakikita siya sa baba, sa floor. So, pasok na lang, tinanggal namin yung buong setup, like, all of those tables, tapos nun, bench na lang. I think, ganun din yating ginawa for the choirs and the bands. Ito talagang, okay, strike yung buong set. Yeah. <laughs> Ayun na lang tayo, ganun na lang, standing room only na lang <laughs> So, ganun siya. That, that studio, talaga, oh my God. 
I wish I saw that in real life. A dog in the studio and a cute dog, my dad. A, a very big cute dog. <laughs> Siberian yes. husky, she al lahi lahi niya. I know. So, <laughs> that, that adds another layer. <laughs> The size of this studio. True. Definitely try to put a picture of this in the comment section. So, anyway, the uh, night. Vaccine. Of- yes. Sorry, uh, in, yeah, in, no in light of what we were talking about, Wait, so yeah. there was, there is an announcement about suspension of classes. Oh. Right, uh, issued oh, no. by Ateneo itself. Uh, okay. That, that happened today. Yes, Remember, that happened today. Show. And this is oh. airing at 5 p.m. August 24. <laughs> oh, so, we're currently suspended. Okay, so, <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> the yeah. classes have been suspended <laughs> since the beginning of the day. Oh, but yeah, so it, but this applies to you. Oh, man, yeah, yes. man. oh it applies to us immortal college students. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Pero sa amin ni Sir Cholo, we're more immortal than immortal, so we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, if we're the immortals, you're the eternal. Sorry, it's Marvel again, but it's, <laughs> it's a fact of life. But anyway, that means that means we can stay another hour. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was going to say, of course, it's getting late, and all of us have to rest. So. For each of your shows, especially the two that need to make a comeback, please uh, tell us what are you looking forward to, like for the station and for your shows, and what can we expect from your shows in the weeks to come. So we'll start with B for that. Hey, um, pressure of a big lap. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Um, siguro sa akin what I really wanted to do was to really go back muna. The din sa core of, of Mind Ed, why we're doing it then. So that we can um forward from there. Um yung yung title din kasi ng show, it's um it's a play of word din. Play mm-hmm. of words. So yung hindi siya kasi mind dash and ed mm-hmm. it's um it, mind yung, ed. with yung sa dictionary, hindi ako linguistics major ever <laughs> dan ala na mind ed so it's like mind ed or mental education or mental health education kanyan mm-hmm. and it's also like um you you are being minded another big brain title ganun siya <laughs> ganun siya and and i remember um when we were um talking about the logo of the show uh and she um kasi yun, siguro yun ang hindi namin papalitan Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's actually para siya kasi maze na nandun sa parang thought bubble na ganyan. Mm-hmm. But it's it's actually a labyrinth. Hindi lang siya oh, random stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Tapos nakaposition yung center of the labyrinth dun sa part of the brain na amygdala mm-hmm. where emotions are processed. So I guess for me, like the the hope or what, what we really wanted to do is maybe to to go back to that like what what do we need? What ano ba? Sino ba yung mga kailangan natin i-mind? Or mm-hmm. ano, ano yung mga kailangan natin i-mind? And maybe just go back to processing emotions more and just maybe a little real talk yeah. uh, on things na hindi ganun din ka-intimidating. Mm-hmm. So with that, um, we're hoping that we could um, talk to more people to give, ano, kumbaga parang to talk about, maybe to explore more emotions, kanyan, uh, to to explore other people's perspectives, to mind other people and organizations, siguro, kanyan. So, um, yeah, more, more, more collab. Because we're, we're also yeah. exploring, um, uh, miluluto pa siya eh, pero parang we're also exploring, <laughs> like, really partnering up with the different orgs then, uh, yeah. related to mental health or, um, maybe sa export, ganyan, para, uh, kumbaga, parang mas marinig din yung mga tao. And then, that's it. Tingnan natin kung, kung paano din siyang mag-grow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll see. Yes. But things to look forward to, things to watch out for in the year to come. So now, the two who have to come back. <laughs> Balik na daw sila. Yeah. The time is yours. Both of you share. <laughs> for either guess, or both guess, of your shows well I'd still like to pursue find I, I, if I if we can't be back like physically in, you know uh, as as radio hosts 
I still like to pursue really facilitating that the shows mm. that we we had uh, Atinian Himig Ateneo can can be uh, done by the students. I mean, I'd love yeah. to have the students more engaged. So, baka, let's talk to uh, uh, Doc Ancho of uh, Com and uh, see if we can really merge or I find you know uh, an outlet for the Magis people. Ako, ako, I, I believe so much in the concept of Magis Radio, yeah. and I think na we can really get that in and give it a uh, bigger platform. Yeah. Uh, even by by putting them on Radio mm-hmm, Katipunan, mm-hmm. By, which is where they were supposed to be in the first place. Yeah. So uh, we we actually, diba, parang Chris, if you remember, we actually talked to some people and we said na, you know, if it's just a matter of uh, schedules, because we were on at the time slot, parang 2 p.m. Uh, on uh, parang Mondays and Thursdays, na mm-hmm. people were in class, diba? People were in, but now. With the technology and with Zoom, para uh, the show can be recorded. But uh, let's mm-hmm. have more uh, students on board, literally yeah. Uh, yeah. on on air. Uh, so I'd I'd love to come back just to hand it off. Parang gaya yun yung idea ko kasi eh. I really haven't spoken to you about discuss this with you yet. Tapos parang... eh, hindi kami nag-usap eh. Bye bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, the feud and then the screen. <laughs> if we do come back, it's really just to hand it off to the next generation of yeah, radio yeah. hosts, Aww. which I think you know will do a much better job at sustaining the 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 concept of the show and you know growing it for the the larger community. Yeah. No, Greeting, actually, actually, yung we we don't. <laughs> this will sound weird and maybe even anong tawag dito, uh, mushy. <laughs> While we don't really always talk about it in depth, Nicholo, we mm-hmm. share the same perspective. Eh. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, kaya when we do talk about it, it comes more more smoothly. And the idea there, mm-hmm. and it's in the title, eh. uh, Atin Yan, mm-hmm. and, and Himig Ateneo, how we can bring the people in the community to do this, to love this also. Yeah. And we we've tried actually several times before bring in some people from as junior high, senior high. Mm-hmm. You know, may idea kami nun, could could they be anchors of sorts, yeah, parang yeah. field agents, <laughs> diba? Kasi kaya naman eh, diba? At, yeah. the, at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be us, diba? Mm-hmm. It doesn't even have to be the title, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the spirit, no, that that spirit yeah. of service, that spirit of of sharing your passion. How can it be more alive? And within these two contexts, though, just to, mm. of course, push how Radio Katipunan as a radio, community radio station, is also diverse. Kasi yeah. meron ng mind din, meron pang spirituality, may pang entertainment, and so on and so forth, diba? So this is the niche, and anyone really could share in it, no? So we'll, we'll have a sit down, give it more thought, brainstorm, get permissions, of course, but, uh, right. babalik at babalik yan because it's the core of Ateneo rin eh, service. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it was the core of Radio Katipunan, really. Yes. To share what was happening inside, to share it with the, yeah. the general public yeah. and to make yeah. it part of the community. Uh, yes. the, our dream of having a university town in the Loyola yeah. Heights area. That is really that is part of the dream of Radio Katipunan. So um, that will happen. It will. <laughs> It definitely we will, will. We will all. Ikang ani I search. Ikang ani Sandman. We we all we all just have to dream it at the same time. Oh, yes, I agree. Nice. I haven't finished okay. Sandman yet. So so yeah. this group na to, we are the endless. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. We are the endless. Ayan. <laughs> when I finish it, I'll let you guys know so that I have oh, people wow. to people to talk to. But then. Yes, so thank you everyone. I learned a lot about um, how Radio Katipunan was formed. And since now we know the classes are suspended, I hope the people who watch this will <laughs> learn a lot as well. So yeah, that was really fun. Thank you for joining me. But before I ask all of you to say goodbye and your parting words, please allow me to thank a few people first because this has been New Wave. So thank you to James and to Sir Justin for handling this broadcast. And of course, thank you once again to our audience. Stay safe and dry. Thank you for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing you all next week. It's another 
new month or not yet? Well, regardless, I think September is like a week from now and I can't process that Burr anymore. Months na. Yeah, Burr months. Like it's getting colder. <laughs> Christmas season in the Philippines is going to start soon, so yeah. oh my gosh, I can't, I, I can't, I can't process that yet. <laughs> of course, so don't miss out. Follow us on Instagram at newwave.rk to stay updated. Head over to our Facebook page called New Wave and join the Facebook community group on the page for replays, more additional content, engagements, and ways you could get on the show. So. The links will be posted. Please check it out. You can also just type our Instagram username on Facebook. So the page comes out for you for sure. Catch the replay of this episode on Radio Katipunan 87.9 FM's Facebook page, YouTube, and Twitter Live. All of which go by at Radio Katipunan. And don't forget that you can also listen to this episode and many more as a podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Anchor under the name New Wave. You can also check out the additional content. Like last week, we had a tour with Father Manaling. He brought us around Iggy's Food Hub. You can check out you can check out things like that on my YouTube channel. Just type Maxine Cruz or Maxine Cruz seven three one. So that's the new thing. That's my new thing for the show. So please check it out. I'll be going around campus, showing things on campus in like five to ten minute bites. So perfect for in between classes. But of course, most of all. Thank you to B, Circus, and Sir Cholo for joining me today. It was nice to catch up with everyone since it's been a while since we've seen the two, the two Atenian Yay. hosts especially. Yeah. So, my yes. gosh, thank you so much. Now, the floor is yours for the three of you to say anything and everything you want to say. So, we'll shuffle. We'll start with Sir Chris. Sir Chris, well, there yeah, you go. Yeah, so... I am missing uh, Radio Katipuna 87.9. This is Super Black, <laughs> diba? Atin yan. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, th- una, thanks, thanks, no? Maxine, uh, for, for, for having us. And quick shout out to all the graduating members from Batch 2022, of course. They'll be That's having nice. their graduation next weekend. Um, no, not, not next week. This weekend. This weekend. Yeah, the mass is on Saturday, wow. so it's mass this weekend. Mass on Saturday. Yes. Then the the ceremonies are Saturday afternoon and Monday. No. Uh, congratulations again to batch twenty and twenty one who'll be having their recognition wow. rights on Sat on Sunday. All right. Um, so congratulations to all of them. But again, uh, thank you to to Raja Patipunan. We. We were happy to be there at the start. We're happy to be here still at the background. No, and uh, let's see how where where life brings us next. No, but uh, either way, we'll be there with you as your supporters, listeners, viewers, and hopefully, no, as part of the active roster of hosts. So thank you, Sir Cholo, since you're unmuted. <laughs> <laughs> you have yeah. muted, so Hi. you have Okay. Uh, well, first of all, uh, thank you for having us, Maxine. You're such a thank pro. You. I love it. I love how you've grown. Uh, you know, since you started. Like, especially now you. that hearing how you started, not being a radio person, now you're the most pro of, of all of us. Oh my so, gosh. Uh, oh, I wish you more power and I wish you, uh, you. a great career in, in communications and in broadcasting, you. even. You know, I'd love to see you. <laughs> Talaga, and the, the general public, you know, uh, and your platform to grow. Thank and you. of course, uh, uh, happy fourth anniversary to Radio Katipuna. Yes. It's uh, it's been a great fun, and I hope that we continue to 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 prosper and uh, that you know that more people get into it, uh, and you know the the concept of it even uh, evolves so that uh, the whole community can get, get in with us. Uh, in our, diba, in our, ano talaga, in our dream of mm-hmm. really making the school uh, 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 grow its community and also get more people uh, into yeah. this uh, great project called Radio Katipunan. So happy fourth year anniversary, RK. We love you. Thank you. <laughs> and B, <laughs> last but definitely not least, go. <laughs> Actually, isa na lang ang pangarap ko, bumalik na itong dalawang to. <laughs> <laughs> yun na yun. yun We're na yun. all waiting. Sige na, sir. 
Anniversary. <laughs> Anniversary <laughs> special. <laughs> no, but it's it's really I know. I mean, of course, ma. Thanks, thanks for for having us and thanks for like giving a special spotlight. Then, like, like, um, ako definitely. Kaya tindi na ako simula. Um, it's it's really a good um way na balikan siya to remember why we did this in the first place. Yes. And yeah, so it's just like a, a renewed uh, ano rin eh, um parang inspiration also to continue. And to also remind ourselves that we're not alone in this. Like, marami tayo na iisa lang yung goal, iisa lang yung gusto, iisa yung hangarin. And we really have different ways of, of doing that with our show. So, um, let's support each other. So, shout out then, of course, to sa mga um, Radio Katipunan anchors, Active and Active, the producers, those behind the scenes, those doing all the promotions, the brainstorming. Yes. Lahat ng mga taong kumukot, yung mga tumutulong sa pagkukotak ng mga guests, paghahatak ng mga guests, oh my God, pag-iisip ng mga episodes. So all of those, of course, we want to thank our our big bosses din mm-hmm. uh, in campus. Tas para, thank you, Father Nono, for, for the nudge, of course. Yes. Yes. Father Jet for supporting us when we're still babies. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you you create na di ba? So seasons, my taxis, Father Bobby, lahat ng mga sumusu pala din sa atin. And uh, Justin, of course, shout out to you and James also. And then um, I guess I'm looking forward to uh for for, for this station, for this community, this family uh to grow. Um, maybe more programs, new programs, pwedeng magverge siguro yung ibang mga mga programs bahala na. <laughs> Bahala na ang Grasha. <laughs> Kung para natin siya gagawin. Um, but yeah, um, this is our fourth anniversary and uh, we're hoping for uh, more more growth and, uh, and more exciting things for uh, the station, the campus, the community and our little very humble family. Yes, exactly. Speaking of family, shout out also to Ma'am Jen who was not yet brought up today but I know that you'll oh, be watching yes, this. Course. So special shout out oh. to Ma'am Jen who, will, who is for sure in the comment section right now. We can see the yes. future. Yes. Hi, Jen. Si, si Miss Jen, yun na pimili ng mga gamit natin noon. <laughs> Siya lahat nag-re-research at nag-shopping ng mga gamit. So, sa kami humili thank you, Miss Jen. <laughs> Yes. So yes, to the whole team, to everyone who was there from the start, everyone who we've crossed paths with, thank you for being with us in these four years. Wow, as if I was there from the beginning. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And to the family members who we have yet to meet this year and in the years coming, we're excited to meet you. You can just come right by, say hi to us. <laughs> Hi to us, and there's definitely a spot for you in Ateneo and in Radio Katipunan. So, lots of things to look forward to in the future. Once again, I'm Max, and when it comes to what's happening, I'll serve you the facts. And this has been New Wave. We'll see you next week. Bye. Stay safe and dry. If it's entertainment you crave, catch us on New Wave, New Wave. surfing through the latest on our shores New Wave. every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. New Wave. See you there! Rajo. 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 Rajo.